Hello, this is another bug lottery video. There is only two now, so let me show you. Uh, there's that one, and there is this one. Uh, I'm going to pick this one. It's a very old one. I put it there recently, but it's, it's we're talking origins, like very since I first like created the like the best and fully auto capability well the best capability of the like the PDW but even before then I think it was still with the handgun if you tried to move while you it was something to do with you aiming shooting but then attempting to move away and it, it just it, something falls out of sync and it kind of locks you in place unless you press like the space bar so yeah, uh, looking at that, if I sound different, that is because I have a new headset. Okay, so let's think. So occasionally get stuck when using the PDW, right? Let's let's firstly show you it. Okay, I thought it was to do with those booleans on the on the left, you see, but I don't think it is. Um, let me show you. Might be a bit loud. So you get stuck now, but never used to normally. I I do wonder if it's the bullets doing some sort of like keeping them in place collision, but then I don't know. Um, it could be look at the, like you're stuck now, completely stuck actually, and I had to click it. Then let's try it again. Hmm. fully auto yeah like even now I need to I need to like jump and click it that's that's new it's something to do with burst it's something to do with the start stop on burst uh, right okay so there's a macro on burst right so you shoot it if your active weapon is not null then and your fire mode is single then like, one one trigger one bullet Burst is if burst mode is false, then do a burst, and then that's like it, it's like full auto for a period of time, and then well, I suppose that's what it is like in real life, isn't it? It's not it's not some sort of computer counting your bullets. It's literally just some sort of mechanism that allows you to have full auto for like two or three bullets, depending on what like the burst is on the gun. And then, like, the catch kicks into the single again, I guess. Or, oh, it just stops it dead. So, yeah, and then and then turn it off. So, if it's off, turn it on. Run this macro. Turn it off. And then full auto, yeah, it's just it's fire, 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 but just on, like, a, an event loop. Um, so, I think it's this macro. Maybe... So, okay, so you fire, stop, fire, stop, fire, stop. But this, but that won't make me unable to move. Aiming makes me unable to move. That disables movement. Um, increase ammo, reload, fire weapon aiming. So, yeah, so you activate the crosshairs. So whether it's aiming crosshairs or normal crosshairs, then true aiming else, not aiming. So when you release it, default crosshairs and you're not aiming, not aiming should allow you then to move. Brace aims, something I put in originally, I, w I will put it back in. Um, you know, there's, there's aiming a gun and then there's like really aiming a gun and that's that's what brace aim is supposed to be so things will be slower but more more deadly essentially uh, so it's nothing to do with firing the weapon it's all to do with movement control so let's just do movement uh, was any movement really movement input so left to right so forward in this case If so, if aiming, if should that be an and? If 
aiming is true, so if you are aiming, or you are brace aiming, or you are shooting, nothing. If you're not aiming, shooting, or brace aiming, allow movement. Yeah, and then if you sprint in, blah, blah, blah. Brace aiming? Brace aiming isn't on, shouldn't be on by default. No, brace aiming there on the right there, sorry. Uh, brace aiming is not on default, so it's not that. Uh, we've already got Booleans looking at that. Let's, regardless, let's just, regardless, do it. Don't care if you're aiming or not. God knows what it'll look like, but it should get around the movement issue if this is the problem. Right, yeah. yeah you see it? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. This is either the problem or it's circumnavigating the problem by maybe the problem happens after this and it only triggers in that false scenario. So because we've done true false, this is either the problem, the culprit, or it gets ahead of the culprit and the culprit never triggers. Right. Is so it shouldn't matter changing it from like true to false, that's irrelevant. That shouldn't cause any drama. It's, it's any sort of movement, so really let's just look at the others. That's the other way. Uh up down. Uh, I guess yeah, like forward. Like inwards inwards outwards. Uh away towards. Hmm. Very same shooting. So, is you, are you brace aiming? Yes. Or if you're with that, you're shooting? Yeah. Any of those? False. Maybe that should be an and. So, you're brace aiming and. Really, that could be an and or an or because, yeah, if, if you're aiming and shooting don't move, if you're, if you're aiming, don't move, oh no, 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 because you can, you could technically brace aim without aiming, so then, the yeah, that wouldn't, that wouldn't trigger, and then that would trigger, that would allow you to move, okay, so all is correct, um, let's try, if you're aiming, or brace aiming, we don't need shooting because you can't shoot without aiming and if you are not aiming and not brace aiming can I just right click replace sometimes you can do like a right click replace which is really nice. it's pretty cool I don't know if you can do it on everything you can do it when you're trying to change uh, variables sometimes maybe like this one um, Oh, maybe because I've already got it up. Sometimes, yeah, you can like right-click stuff and you can cha change it from like a, a different type. That's right. So your aiming equals false, and brace aiming equals false. You know, take brace aiming out because you actually can't do brace aiming without aiming. You need to control is aim, control shift is brace aim. You can't do shift e and then yeah, and then bra aiming stays on. For as long as that. Um, see if it works like this. If it does, then we'll put brace aiming back in just in case someone wanted to go aim to brace aim to aim uh, back and forth. So, you know, we'll do keep it, but then we'll just. So if aiming equals false, true, then move. If aiming does not equal false, then yeah, nothing. Let's replicate that. It'll also simplify it as well because it's one less thing. It's a much. It's got to be a much simpler calculation to do like one thing or two things in an and rather than um, 
three separate things in and all and it's having to look at all of them constantly to see if any of them ever take over so like logically it feels like it should be easier to compute for it um, we need to change that to true don't we ok knock that off so if brave aiming equals true can't move oh, I'm so good I got rid of that like crash at play thing okay so you can move but this was the original problem I remember it wasn't that you couldn't move the original problem was it, it sticks on the animation which is to do the animations trigger on bulls so there's some bull that is not being good let's just pop it into an and no change that back to an or no, it is not brace aiming and no, and works. It's not brace aiming and is not aiming. Yeah, not brace aiming and is not aiming. Hmm. Right. See if I'm not really going to be doing any brace aiming, so I can't really test this fully. But we can test if we get the same outcome we just had then. It's great. If you're wondering why it moves. I believe that's to do with either it's forgot the primary player start because you're supposed to start exactly where I was or items are in the way and it's trying to like spawn spawn in space all right so I can't move while I'm aiming I, I do actually have animations for brace aim but uh, yeah I must have turned it off uh, right so it was that shooting thing it was something to do with that all that was playing that up right so we've done this bug let's let's leave this at this and we'll open another one for the animations and we'll I won't concatenate them into one video but they'll be like sequential that'll be the next thing I'll do uh, yeah okay thank you for your time and that is this one done? I am off to work. See you later.